As you can see from this intro, Capcom's Marvel Superheroes has just about every major Marvel character imaginable. In a year of lackluster fighting games, Marvel Super Heroes doesn't need to do much to stay on top. But Capcom actually tried something new, something the industry should learn to do once in a while. The great innovation that sets this game apart from the crowd is the use of Infinity Gems. As you pummel your foes to death, they will drop these gems that, when used, can do anything from refill your life gauge to bestowing you with a special superhero power. You already have superhero powers that are executed by mostly rotational moves on the D-pad, but these powers go much further. In a way, they have the same effect as the banana peel and other items in Mario Kart 64. You get these items randomly, and then use them when you most need an advantage. Surprisingly, the game allows you to see an ending even on the easiest level. We got the ending for The Incredible Hulk. All the characters in the game are fun to play, but the Hulk, Iron Man, and Wolverine are our favorites because some of their special moves don't use rotations. It's so awesome when you jump way high into the sky and come crashing down on your enemy. No other fighting game we've seen has that cool feature. Also, the control is a lot more responsive than other fighting games. Even novices will be able to pull off a few special moves without getting killed in the process. As a result, the control gets a B. Due to the Infinity Gems, the gameplay gets a generous B as well, and the challenge gets a C. Street Fighter veterans should be able to whip through this game. All in all, an interesting alternative. Now here's the ending for The Incredible Hulk. Let's rock!